Like, I can't believe I forgot to pay for my tags and I've been riding dirty for over a month. <laughs> It is Sunday. I am on my way to brunch. I am running behind, as I'm sure you all gathered, because whenever I'm running late, the vlog always starts in the car. So I'm on my way to brunch in downtown Riverside. I'm meeting up with a friend that I haven't seen in a few years. So I'm pretty excited about this brunch. <coughs> because I haven't seen her in a few years, I'm not really sure how much of it I'm going to vlog. But I'm gonna try to get some stuff. I've never been to the place, but it looks cute. Um, you know, it's brunch. Who doesn't love brunch? So just wanted to introduce the vlog on a Sunday. I really hope I get good content. I'll catch you all inside because I'm running late and I really need to focus. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> I just made it. I think I'm gonna be only like five minutes late, which is not bad. <laughs> but she's already here, I already texted her. I hope it's not super crowded. It's so weird being out here and not actually taking pictures. <laughs> I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out of Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision. It couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hearing us. We live in this good of your area. My mama proud. She tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. I treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in the virus grip. Way up when the virus clear. All the homies on the flight list. Verbally gifted, take the plot that I twisted, got a big lit. Text with the incense. All right, y'all, we just finished brunch. I had such a fun time, okay? Such a fun time with my girl i vlogged a little bit y'all saw some of the vlogging that i did but i didn't want to vlog too much because like i said we hadn't hung out or seen each other in a few years so i was just trying to be present there we go i was just trying to be present with her but we literally picked up where we left off like we used to hang out so much but then she ended up moving back home she's back in california now so i definitely think we're gonna be hanging out a lot more i had such a fun time but I'm about to head back home. I don't have any plans for today outside of relaxing, probably watching some TV, maybe catching something on Netflix. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much else that I plan to do. So I'll probably end up catching you all tomorrow. If I do something today, y'all already know I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Otherwise, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. So I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, today's the next day. It's Monday. <laughs> Girl, I had to think so hard. Today is Monday. I'm working, but I'm just like on a little break right now. I picked up a lot of packages from the P.O. box. I mean, from my um, parcel locker. And then I had one from my P.O. box. So I just wanted to share it with you all because I love sharing my packages with you all. And plus, um, they're like for Instagram. So I don't really have to show them on YouTube. But I just wanted to show... Girl, let me get my life together. Let me just turn the camera around so I can show y'all what I got. I'm so excited for these. So, um, I am collaborating with Brown Girl Jane. It is a black-owned skincare line. Um, they sent me their body butter, luxury CBD body butter. Hold on, let me make sure my um, camera is, is in the right mode. Okay, yes, it is. And then they also sent me two of their latest fragrances. So this is their one from their Wonderlust collection. This scent is Bahia. The mood is peace. And it's an eau de parfum. Y'all can kind of see the notes there. And then they also sent me their Casablanca. The mood is love. 
and I don't know why it's not really focusing too well, but those are the notes there. I'm about to open them up, open them up so you all can see because their little perfume bottles are so cute. So let me open it up. All right, y'all, look at these little perfumes. They are so cute. I feel like my camera is having a hard time focusing. I had dropped this camera a little while back and I hope that's not affecting it. But look at how cute these bottles are. This is the Casablanca and the Bahia. Let me see if I can open the lid. Oh, it's like a screw. I think it's a screw off. Or is it just a pull off? I think it's a pull off. Yeah, there it is. Look at it, girl. It's so cute. It's going to look really cute in my perfume collection. But let me go ahead and smell it and let you all know what they smell like. I feel like they're going to smell really good because I've seen really good reviews about them. But let me turn y'all around so y'all can see my reaction. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to start off with the Bahia. I'm going to spray it inside of the actual box it came in. Ooh, I already smell it. Let me see. Let's see, girl. Oh, this smells good. Mmm, that smells good. I feel like this has jasmine in it or something. Let me see. Top notes are peach nectar, lotus, wa water lotus, orange flower, mid are tuberose, jasmine petals. I smell the jasmine. Golden gardenia. Base notes are vanilla bean, cedarwood, and cashmere musks. Mm, this smells really good. I definitely smell the jasmine and I smell the gardenia as well. That to me is a good scent if you're going... Mm. This is really, this could be an everyday scent, but I think this would be really nice if you're going to brunch. I'm also getting like a dinner, going to dinner, dinner date kind of vibe. I think this would be nice for a date. It's very sensual, but still pleasant. Like it's not sexy, but it kind of has a sensual um, vibe to it. So this is Casablanca. This is the one that I've heard the most of and seen most people saying that they like. So let me see what is given. Oh, that's strong. This is good, but it kind of gives me. Hmm. I mean, and obviously it's going to smell different on my body than it does in the box, but just off bat, like what my first impressions are. I like Bahia the best. And it's funny because initially I picked Bahia because I read all the notes and I just thought that would be the one that I like the most because I kind of like what types of I kind of know what type of notes I like. But then <laughs> I started seeing people talking about Casablanca. And I was like, oh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should get Casablanca instead. So they were nice enough to send me both. And it's so funny how I'm learning myself. I'm learning what I like. And I actually do like the Bahia the best. And that was my first choice. The Casablanca is really nice. It's, it gives me like a grown woman, mature woman smell. I definitely think this would be really nice for a mature woman, like an older woman. It's not giving grandma, but it is giving like more mature older woman and then the bahia to me that's that's just more up my alley like that's something that i think i'm gonna wear like almost kind of like an everyday scent but i am so happy with these items and the body butter the cbd body butter i just put some on my hand just to test it out is so good let me show y'all Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. I like their packaging. It's so... Oh, I didn't tell y'all the notes of Casablanca. So the notes, top notes are marshmallow, cardamom, incense. Mid notes, saffron, soft suede, vanilla orchid. Base notes are glowing amber, soft musks, and sandalwood. So y'all can hear it's like a real earthy, moody type of scent. It's good. It's just not something that I would gravitate towards, but I'm still going to wear it because it smells good. So let me just get closer so you all can see how the consistency of the body butter is. It's nice, sis. Look at that, girl. It's nice and thick. And let me just rub it in so you can see. Like, it's really, really, really moisturizing. Like, my hands feel really good. And let's see. What are the benefits? Because it does have CBD in it. And I know that's supposed to be good for the body. So it's broad spectrum, so I guess it could be good kind of as not a sunscreen, but something that can protect your skin. It says gently massage into the targeted areas of the body. Can be applied to wet or dry skin. I kind of wish it said what it's really good for, 
but I'm just use it as a body butter. <laughs> I'm not using it like for anything specific, but yeah, those are the set first set of things that I picked up from my um, mailbox. I think the last one I'm not going to show you all because it's from Just Fab and I usually do Just Fab hauls on my channel, so I'll wait on that. But let me go ahead and show you all the other package that I got. Okay, y'all, so the last package that I'm going to show y'all right now is from Okja. I had shown you all that I placed an order with them. They're a perfume brand that makes dupes and inspired scents from some of your favorite fragrances. They also have their own fragrance line as well. So they were nice enough to send me four of their fragrances. I don't know what they are. They picked them out for me. So I might end up doing like a full-blown review on my channel eventually. So the first scent is Sorcery. I kind of think that's one of their original fragrances. Oh, that's so funny. I actually have this one. Cologne, Calon, Calon. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But this is a, inspired by their Gentle Fluidity. Or that's inspired by Gentle Flu Fluidity by MFK. Sweven. This is actually inspired by Baccarat. Um, MFK Baccarat Rouge. And then this one. Or Orphic? Orphic, yes. I don't know what this is inspired by. Um, I'll try to leave it on the screen if I can figure it out. But, but yeah, y'all, that's what I wanted to show you from today. That's what I picked up while I went out. I didn't bring you all with me while I was out and about because I was on my lunch break and I had a whole bunch of places to go to and I just wanted to get it done. So I think that's all I needed to show you all or tell you all. Um, so I'll come back on the camera either later on today or sometime this week depending on what I do. This week I'm pretty excited because me and O are actually going to Pasadena to take our pictures um, on Friday. So I'm excited to do something a little different. We're going to have a whole different scenery, whole different vibe, all that. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and go. I need to get back to work and I actually need to um, eat a little something as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this little vlog, this little portion of the vlog, girl. Let me know in the comment section if you have questions about any of the items that I showed y'all know I'm gonna try to leave the links to everything that I showed as well and I will catch y'all sometime in the future hey y'all so today is Tuesday it is the next day I'm already out the house I'm on my lunch break I'm actually headed to the gas station I have to get some gas in my car and then after that I decided to go pick up lunch because I don't feel like cooking it today so I think I'm gonna go to KFC I was trying to decide where do I want to go for lunch I definitely want to go somewhere where I do not have to get out the car <laughs> even though I like how I look and everything but I just don't feel like getting out the car even though I have to do that at the gas station but I want to go somewhere that has a drive-thru but that's not like a burger fast food type place I really wish Popeyes, because that's what I really want. I really wish Popeyes had drive through or at least the one that's close to me, but it doesn't. So I figure KFC is decent. Um, I can't think of anything else near me that has like borderline healthy food. I know KFC ain't healthy, y'all, but it's like chicken. It's not like a burger or nothing. Please don't turn person. Okay, thank you. But I can't think of something that's like borderline healthy that has a drive through Most drive throughs is like junk, junk food. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go to KFC. Give me some chicken. I'm not even really a fan of KFC. I'm a Popeye's and a church's chicken kind of girl. Let me know what you all prefer. I don't really care for KFC. I like their chicken, but that's about it. I don't really care. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't really care for their sides. I like their fries, but like their green beans, mashed potatoes, uh, macaroni and cheese, not a fan. But it's okay. Um, I'll make do. I'll probably just end up getting fries, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I am just now pulling up to the gear station. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a lot of people here. Like a lot of cars. Can I make this turn? Yes, I can. But yeah, it's kind of a lot of cars here. But y'all, I will be back once i hope i don't get trapped parking here yeah i might but it's okay i'll back up all right y'all i will be back oh all right y'all so got me a decent amount of gas i'm not even at full like gas is so expensive i don't know how expensive it is where y'all live but in california 
gas is like pushing five dollars okay it's like four dollars and some change so usually like when i first got this car i was able to fill it up on thirty dollars girl not anymore <laughs> it's probably i would say it might take me about 45 between 45 and 50 dollars to fill this car up which is ridiculous um but yeah anyways let me stop complaining at least i'm able to get gas so i put enough in it i'm like just under full probably about three-fourths a little over three-fourths of the tank but let's go to i about to say popeyes let's go to kfc i really hope it's not crowded i hope they don't take long usually the kfc by me it don't ever be nobody there which is actually not a good thing when you're trying to eat somewhere when it ain't nobody ever there um but yeah let's get going hi thank you for choosing my kfc would you like to try our own new beyond six piece fried chicken no thank you what can i get started for you today um can i order your 12 piece wings did you want those sauced or unsauced am i able to do like half sauced half unsauced or does it have to be all the same yeah, you can do half and half. Okay, can I get six of them unsauced? And then is, oh, that's buff, that's hot. Um, I guess the other six, honey barbecue. Honey barbecue, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's that all for you today? No, I want to add on some of your fries. Let me see where they are on the menu. Oh, I, I think I, no, I don't see them. Oh, I see them right here. Oh, did your fries change? Didn't you all oh. used to have like wedges, kind of? We have a individual and a large. But I mean the type of fries. Didn't y'all used to have like potato wedges? Oh, yeah, we used to have potato wedges. We only have that, like the regular fries. Regular now. fries. Okay. Let me go ahead and get a large fry. A large fry? Looks like I'm going to complete your order today. Yes, it will. Perfect. So I have the 12 wings, six are honey barbecue, six are unsauced, and then the large fry comes out to 1937 at the window. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Child, that's so expensive. <laughs> Goodness, $20 for lunch? Oh well, I'm, I'm in the mood for some wings, so I'm willing to pay it. Oh gosh. Hi, come back to 1937. There you go. Thank you. Your nails are really cute, by the way. Your nails are really cute. I just got them done yesterday. Where'd you go? Um, I have a nail tech. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's like the best. Okay. Thank um, you. Um, I didn't get my card back though. Well, my so card. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't hear. <laughs> I didn't hear it beeping. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Goodbye. Right, y'all. She's trying to take my card. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She wasn't trying to take my card, but I, I sure wasn't gonna forget it. But um, yeah, her nails were cute. I always be wanting to get my nails done, but then I don't want like the acrylic to damage it. But it just be looking so cute. And plus, I'm trying to find. Um, I'm trying to find. Girl, I'm trying to do way too much. Let me focus put my phone down but I'm trying to find a place that I really love like I go to a certain place I've vlogged there before and I like them it's called Anthony Vents it's in the Victoria Gardens Mall they give you champagne like the full service and everything but I haven't found like that one nail tech that I just absolutely love and that knows me and I used to have that because I used to go to another place before the pandemic and I had this guy who did my nails so good and he did my natural nails and when I was with him my nails grew so much they got thicker and stronger and he just took so much care with my nails and then I think I had gotten sick and couldn't go and then I just fell off and then my nails started breaking and I never picked it up. But I really wish I could find somebody that just like really is interested in actually knowing me as a client and not just like getting my money and like they just assigned me to somebody. So for now, your girl does press ons, but I really want to find me like a dedicated nail technician. But her nails was cute. They were like those squiggly ones. It was like short, square tip nails with like the squiggly white design super cute speaking of that i have some press-ons like that i'll probably put them on today or not today i'll probably put them on this week because I'm taking pictures on friday i'm so excited to take pictures with oh on friday 
Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to pull into my complex and I don't really want to show where I live, so I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> All right, y'all, my KFC. I did not know KFC changed their fries. I don't know if y'all remember, but they used to have like potato wedges. Now they have legit fries. And these do not feel fresh at all. And y'all, I don't think the girl charged me. <laughs> y'all remember how I was asking her, oh, you didn't give me my card? I don't think she charged me for this. But yeah, I'm about to eat lunch so I can get back to work and I'll pick you all up probably tomorrow. Hey y'all, so today is the next day, it's Wednesday. I told y'all yesterday, I think that I had to go out to LA to handle some business. I just got back not too long ago. And I realized, I don't think I ever officially showed y'all my new glasses, like my new um, prescription sunglasses. So I'm like, let me show them. I know y'all seen it in the car or whatever, Oops. but I don't think it was like an official <laughs> unboxing type thing. But this is the case it came in, girl. They are Prada, okay? I went all out for these glasses. <laughs> Because I really wanted to get some that were actually cute because usually, well, I've only had one pair of prescription sunglasses and they were not cute at all. They were like gray. Y'all have seen them. They weren't cute. <laughs> so this time I was like, I want to get some that I will be very proud to wear, that I like how they look, and that even I could wear in pictures and stuff when I'm shooting content. So this is the case that it came in. I love this case. This is how you open it up. And she even gave me the lenses that came in the glasses like the display lenses just in case she's like just in case you want to like switch them out and just wear them as regular sunglasses with your contacts i was like cool so like i said they are prada i don't know if y'all can see it let me see yeah y'all should be able to see it so they are prada sunglasses and i don't really know this design like what this design is called but it kind of has a square and to me it kind of has like a cat eye effect as well but i love them i don't think they really show through like i think they're pretty black and even like these sunglasses the lady was telling me that they let like they're way more clear than just wearing your regular glasses and they have some kind of coating or filter that lets you see things that you wouldn't see you like with your regular glasses on. It's really, really weird. But anyway, I love them. And I had to officially let y'all see my new glasses. Another thing, girl, I need y'all's help, okay? I'm probably gonna already make the decision by the time this video goes up, but y'all remember I had bought, let me show y'all. Y'all remember I had bought these ASOS boots. Let me, let me remind y'all, just in case some of y'all haven't seen the vlog where I first shared these. So I had seen these on I Am Chelsea Janae's channel and I really fell in love with them. So I went on and got them. They're like a really tall platform boot, but they're just like a centimeter too small. So my toe is literally butting up against the toe of the boot and that's with no socks on so i really wouldn't even be able to wear socks with this boot and then another thing um let me show y'all so y'all can see what i'm talking about the leg is it's, it's kind of weird let me turn y'all around so the leg part it's like big right here like it's not fitted and it does the same thing back here it's like open i don't understand let me show y'all this way i don't get what the point of this was so, so that being said, I'm debating if I want to return them, girl. <laughs> I done did all that getting the expedited shipping and everything just to return them. But one good thing that I did see is that ASOS, you can return for free. So you don't have to pay to return. I already think I'm gonna return them anyway, but I just want y'all opinion. <laughs> but, oh, the battery's about to die. I'm gonna charge y'all and I'll be back. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just got off work. Tell me why <laughs> I was looking for some paperwork. I needed some paperwork. I needed to find some paperwork. So I was looking through like mail and stuff that I had received <laughs> in the past. Why did I come across my car registration, like vehicle registration paperwork? 
come to find out, I never paid for my registration. I never renewed my tags. I never did any of that, y'all. It's been over a month. It's been like a month and a half. So now I have late fees. <laughs> so fortunately for me, the Ralphs near me has a like DMV kiosk where you can go pay for, or you can do like little things that you need for the DMV. So I'm on my way there now to pay for my tags. But oh my goodness, like... I can't believe I forgot to pay for my tags and I've been riding dirty for over a month. <laughs> I am so grateful I never got pulled over or anything by a, um, like a police officer because I definitely could have. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I thought that was pretty funny. So I wanted to share with you all um, that. But yeah, that's all I wanted to come on the camera for for the rest of the day. I forgot what I showed y'all earlier. I know I came, oh yeah, to ask y'all about the boots. So I still haven't made a decision about the boots, but <laughs> that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night is paying for my registration. So I'm gonna go and hop off the camera, y'all. I'll pick y'all up tomorrow. Um, if I end up doing something of interest. Oh, okay, lady. Okay, I don't wanna hit nobody, y'all. I'm trying to focus okay but yeah i'll pick you all up tomorrow because it's quite crowded in the rouse parking lot and i don't want to get in no accident so let me focus <laughs> hey y'all today is Friday. I am out and about. I'm actually taking pictures. I think I had told y'all that I was taking pictures with O in Pasadena. So we just made it to Pasadena. She's in the car changing. I'll show y'all her when we when she finishes. But this spot that we're about to shoot at is so cute. I'm about to show y'all. Probably can't really see, but of course I'm going to show y'all better when we get up in there. But it's like this really cute um this place right here. It's like this really cute shopping area that has like restaurants. I think it has mostly restaurants, but it also has like small businesses as well. But it kind of gives off a vibe of being in London. I believe it was kind of mimicked or created off of a place in London. So I'm really excited for this content. It's gonna be so fire. Uh, I'll probably show you all around because we're in a new area especially for those of you who maybe shoot pictures and create content yourself you might can check it out but i'm super excited for this shoot day we have like a whole entire morning plan we're gonna be all around the city of pasadena we're probably gonna grab lunch after we finish i'm gonna be going to a camera place to rent a lens because i'm trying to make sure this youtube content is fire for y'all so i'm gonna try to get a lens rent it see how i like it and yeah i'm really excited for today so I, are you ready, girl, for your yeah. for your uh, appearance? It's a little creepy. I think. <laughs> it is a okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> so say hey to the camera, girl. Hi, camera. Look hey, at her too. dress, y'all. It's very cute. Oh my gosh! If you're not following her yet on Instagram, we gonna have a problem, okay? We are. I will <laughs> find you. Just kidding. I don't have that kind of vibe. I'm like flashy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm zoomed in. But yeah, y'all, follow her on Instagram, okay? I'll leave it up here at the top so you can follow her. And follow me while you're at it if you're not, okay? Mm, so, yeah. of course. If they're not doing that, you're not living right. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go, y'all. I'll catch you once we get into the area where we're about to shoot.
to the house Don't feel like getting out I'ma just lay back and crack this window Hey y'all, we just finished shooting. We did so good, we got such good shots. I'm so excited to share what I got, but y'all gotta be following me, remember? Y'all gotta be following me on Instagram. Everywhere, and the TikTok. <laughs> and the TikTok, yes. <laughs> And I'm on the Twitter, but I don't really use it. But if you want, you can follow me there too. I think it's linked in the description box. <laughs> but I'm like really nervous, y'all, that I might have a ticket on my car. I don't think so. <laughs> We're about to see. Yeah, because we started taking videos. <gasps> Thank goodness, y'all. I got scared. <laughs> because you have to like... Taking a moment to press, feeling stressed out. Give it a good. I put that on God when it gets hard. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so we are on to our last looks we were supposed to shoot four but girl we ain't feel it's like quiet. it so <laughs> we are on our last look we actually are about to go to this coffee espresso place so i'm gonna vlog while i'm in there but we're loving like this whole entire day it's just been amazing we're having such a great time and then afterward when we get back to are you in frame i am i'm sorry there we go <laughs> Once we get back to the IE, we're probably gonna have lunch. So y'all already know I'm gonna take y'all with me, of course, but when we go for lunch, but is this? Oh, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get inside. Let me show y'all. So we are about to check out Sammy's camera. Let me see if I can show y'all the sign, Sammy's camera. I am trying, trying to get a new lens. I think I told y'all earlier, I'm trying to get a lens to borrow from my camera. So let's see what we can find. Okay. Uh, I should, should have one of those. And make sure the computer says I have one before I promise. good it is at just focusing when you hold something up uh -huh. do you know which one is better at that just kind of quickly mm, no oh, not oh. really they're all gonna oh yeah that's a see how white difference. it is yeah that's a really big difference and i could be and this is good because i could be closer but still not look so close because i can't see without my glasses <laughs> so uh... don't know anything about that <laughs> never had that problem <laughs> I don't, okay. and i have I wear trifocals oh. and I'm astigmatic in my left eye too. I have so. that in my left as well. So it's, it's lots of fun. Okay, y'all, I just made it back. Let me get out this light. There we go. I just made it back from Pasadena, girl. That drive was rough, okay? I think I was in traffic the entire time <laughs> and it took us over an hour to get back, but we made it safely. That's all that matters. But I did get a chance to pick up the lens. So I ended up picking up a 33 millimeter Canon lens so let me show it to you all let me show y'all how it looks it's really really big i didn't even realize the lenses were this big so this is what it looks like it's like legit a legit lens so i rented it for i did it seven days so i have it until next friday but i'm probably going to return it on wednesday but i'm so excited to film a couple youtube videos with it just to kind of i guess elevate the look of the um 
videos also this lens they say is good in low light settings so if it's not too bright where you're filming it should be able to capture pretty good lighting so i think i might film a video or two tomorrow maybe sunday i'm not sure but i'm gonna let you all obviously see how it looks well you'll have to see how it looks when you watch the video i think i'm gonna film my amazon collective haul using this but really really excited girl but i'm gonna end off today's vlog i don't think i'll be doing anything else you know to share with y'all if i end up going out for like food i don't know i'm probably gonna make lunch actually i don't want to spend any more money so i'm gonna end off the vlog i'll pick you all up tomorrow tomorrow i'm planning to go back out to pasadena girl they're having the salvation army is having two dollars on their clothing so i'm gonna go out there look around see what they have and i might go to the one in rancho as well but that's pretty much what i have planned for the rest of the weekend so i'm gonna see you all tomorrow um so i'll say good night for now morning y'all it's saturday so today's gonna be the last day of the vlog i'm actually um getting ready to head out to pasadena i told y'all yesterday that i had wanted to go to the thrift store in pasadena the salvation army because they're having two dollars clothing they're all their clothes are gonna be two dollars and i have one in my city in rancho and i'll probably go to that one too but since pasadena that area is like closer to la and like certain areas where i'm guessing that they might have like maybe better quality things at the thrift store i'm really hoping for zara items that's what i'm going there for i'm hoping to find some brand new or close to new zara items because salvation army I don't know if y'all knew, but I'm about to put you on. Salvation Army, I guess they contract with Zara and they get a whole lot of Zara items, like slightly defective items or items that maybe didn't sell too well at Zara. They have the prices still on them, the price tags from Zara still on them. I've gotten some really nice boots that I've had for years, over probably over five years. They're still good. I got them for $5, brand new Zara boots. So... <laughs> That's a little game for you, sis. Check out the Salvation Army. But I'm going to try to thrift. Um, I'm going to try to vlog while I'm thrifting. In the past, I know I had mentioned um, thrifting that I like to thrift. And some of you all had wanted to see me do that in a vlog. So years later, here I am. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping I'm able to get some good content. I'm not going to carry my purse inside. So I hope they have baskets where I can put the put y'all in a basket and shop because it's gonna be hard because I just have on a fanny pack thinking about changing my clothes too like I'm real casual right now y'all can see like real real casual have on this sweat set from Shein but I'm debating like do I actually want to dress nice I don't think I do though because I'm about to get my shop on fingers crossed I find some good items and also it's cold like let me show y'all so oof. hold on y'all I'm struggling so it's kind of gloomy outside i don't know if y'all can see but it's gloomy so i don't want to be uncomfortable and i definitely don't want to be cold so i'll probably keep this on and just throw on a teddy coat over it but i am currently trying to eat me some breakfast i'm trying to stay facing the mirror or the window that's why i'm not doing anything but i'm about to eat me a pancake just to give me some shopping fuel <laughs> and then i'm going to head out so i'll pick you all up either when i'm on the road or when i'm in the thrift store or in pasadena just finished in there that was short and fast I probably took about 10 minutes um yeah that was not a success at all so I'm gonna go to another thrift store another Salvation Army it's in Alhambra it's like 10 to 15 minutes away from here so I drove all the way out here so I might as well check out another one so hopefully I have some luck and then if I don't I'm probably just gonna go to the one in Rancho like I mentioned earlier but fingers crossed that I at least can find one thing <laughs> particularly something from Sara, so fingers crossed.
y'all. Salvation Army was such a bust, both of them. So I went to the one in Pasadena, y'all saw that. The second one I went to was in Alhambra. That one was actually a little better, but it still didn't have anything that I was interested in. And neither of them, neither of them had like the brand new Zara items. I don't know if that's just a thing in the Inland Empire where I live at the Salvation Armies out here, or if they just stop working with Zara or, you know, collabing, connecting, whatever with Zara. But I didn't see nothing there. But y'all did see, I saw a few um, like misguided, pretty little thing, Forever 21. I saw a few brands like that. But I just personally didn't care for the items at this point because I actually receive items from brands for free brand new clothing. I'm very picky with what I'm willing to get second hand. So it has to really speak to me or it has to be something extremely unique that I can't get from somewhere else or it has to be like amazing quality um, in order for me to buy it. Even though it's only $2, I'm getting real picky with my um, what I actually spend my money on when it comes to clothes. But I'm actually back in my area. I'm in the Inland Empire. I am headed to my third Salvation Army. My fingers are crossed that my rancho store will not let me down but <laughs> girl ouch i'm batting two for two right now or i'm losing two for two so i'm hoping this last one because i ain't going to no more after this i'm hoping this last one actually does right by me okay but i did go to trader joe's y'all saw that footage earlier i just picked up some frozen items that i could make quick lunches with when i get back i'm probably gonna make me some either shrimp fried rice or some bulgogi fried rice i'm not sure but yeah, we will see what the Salvation Army near me is giving. Oh gosh, I I'm not hopeful. Like my hopes are not high at all because yeah, it just has not been a good look for me. But I'm gonna stay positive. Let me stop rambling. I'll catch y'all when we get to the Salvation Army. Oh, uh, this one look crowded. I hope it's not a whole bunch of people up in here. Cause I'm just wanna shop in peace. Is that too much to ask? Y'all, that was yet another bus, but I'm about to go get some Jamaican food. So, we gonna make a trip out of it. Okay, y'all, I just got back from the Jamaican spot. I didn't even vlog inside, cause girl, it was so many people up in that Jamaican restaurant. I was like, yes, I love it. Cause I love seeing, obviously, black businesses patronized, especially in my area, cause there's not that many of them. And I do not want them to go out of business. So, it was actually like, Shoot, it was like six of us waiting outside for them to open. They actually opened later than they were supposed to, and we still waited. <laughs> but once we got in, like they got our food out like that, because I think they were in there cooking, and it smelled so good. So I actually ordered jerk chicken with rice and peas, and then steamed the veggies with plantain, and it's the sweet, like the ripe plantain. And then I also ordered me an extra, let me show y'all, some extra plantain. I just love, <sighs> I love ripe fried plantain so i wanted some ginger beer but they didn't have it but i'm about to head back to my place i had wanted to film today and i'm not sure like i'm just not feeling it today so i want to film because the lens that i got was for the purpose of filming a youtube video the lens that y'all saw me rent yesterday is for the purpose of filming a youtube video or at least a couple of them just so i can see if i want to eventually invest in it because that lens is pricey girl like i was shocked when i looked up the price of that lens it's expensive but it's worth it like it, it's really good quality it has a nice blur like it blurs the background real nice and then it's just a really clear lens it captures it so beautifully and it's a low light lens and i love low light lenses because sometimes the light just don't be acting right in my apartment so um all that just to say <laughs> i need to film Okay, this man was about to drive off and not even like check his blind spot, which is where I was. But anyway, all that to say, I need to film a YouTube video, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or just possibly take some time off next week, like a whole day and just film, like maybe on Tuesday so I could give enough notice and just, you know, film all day. I'm not really sure, but 
we'll see shoot i might even film tomorrow maybe after i eat i'll be in the mood but it's like a gloomy day and i don't know why well i know why because i live in southern california and we rarely get gloomy cold days so when we do it's like ugh. I don't really care for it so it's just getting me in like a mood where I don't really feel like I have the energy or the excitement to film so we'll see girl I'm gonna eat obviously and see how I feel but I'll show y'all the food if I remember I'll show y'all the food when I get back home I hope I don't eat it I always say that too I'm like I'm gonna show y'all when I get back home and then I get back home and then I'm just scarfing it down and then I forget to show y'all but I'm gonna do my best to show y'all the food when I get back home hey y'all so I made it in I'm gonna quickly show you all my food girl I ordered the largest size because ain't nobody trying to cook today <laughs> so this is gonna be lunch and and dinner okay am I zoomed in I feel like yes I was zoomed in not by much okay so let me show y'all the food I've eaten here before but who doesn't like to see good food okay and plus we have some new fashion years in the family who haven't seen the food that they make at this spot I mean it's Jamaican food I think if you've seen Jamaican food before you can kind of have an idea of what this is going to look like but I really like this place if you live in the area the Inland Empire I would recommend you check them out so let me show y'all okay y'all so this is what i ordered like i said i got jerk chicken rice and peas plantain and steamed veggies and then i ordered an extra order of plantain because i just love like the fried sweet plantain so they also added this sauce i have no idea what this is i've never if i remember correctly i've never had sauce added to my jerk chicken so i don't know if it's sweet spicy i have no idea but y'all know i'm gonna try it out so i'm gonna make um let me see y'all so I'm going to go ahead and make my plate right now. Um, I would, I probably will watch something. I don't know. I'll probably watch a 30 minute episode of something on TV while I eat. I need to edit tomorrow's vlog. I haven't even started editing. Well, I started, but I'm only like two minutes in. So I actually need to edit a vlog and then I'm going to go ahead and film. I'm going to try to at least get through one video, but we'll see how the day goes. But I'll probably pick you all up a little later on if I end up doing anything or just to end off the vlog. I look so yellow. Oh my goodness, the lighting. But anyway, y'all, I just finished filming my Amazon Collective haul. I thought it went pretty well. It should be live. Actually, I don't think it'll be live by the time this vlog goes up. If it is, I'll leave a card. If it isn't, keep an eye out for it, girl. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end off today's vlog. Y'all know it's Saturday. I always end off my vlogs on Saturday. So I hope you all enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did, girl, give it a like. It's free. <laughs> go ahead and give the video a like. Have any questions, want to chat it up, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far, girl, more than likely you enjoyed what you saw. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. I will see you all next week. <laughs> Bye.